Hello and welcome to more Poke Park Wii. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I have not played this game since like last week, and I have no idea what we're supposed to do next. I completely forgot. Hopefully, we can just talk to Chat and figure this out real quick. Yeah, you met up with your friend Charmander in the lava zone. So where is he now? Hmm, he went to see Blaziken. Friendships can take many forms, you know. Go ahead and proceed. Well, proceed. That's what we have to do, guys. We have to proceed. But maybe if we go over this way, and can we get past this fire? We still cannot get past this firewall, so we have to find some way to do that, unless we can just walk around. That's entirely possible we can do that. Actually, let me see if I can walk around the other side real quick and get around that firewall. Hold on. So here's Rhyperior. If we go around this way, we might be able to swoop around and get to the opposite side of that firewall. And if we can do that, we can probably move on to Blaziken, because we got past Metacham. He was in the way. We went up here, and we got past... Uh, I believe we got past Farfetch, who was in the way as well. I'm starting to... Starting to remember here a little bit. Oh, gosh dang it. I'm sorry, Koalava. So we have another thing right here. So we hit that. That'll probably drop the fire for us. Not sure if we have to do that. But let's go around and see if we can go this way to get to Blaziken. Because I do see a path at the top. If there's Farfetch, she was in our way. So I'm pretty sure this is where we ended last time, guys. I think we're good to go. Oh, do not tell me. I have to bring a lever all the way over here. Walking slow as crud. Wait, can I just hit that? Please tell me that works. Please tell me that works. I do not want to walk all the way back here. Okay, it looks like we're good, guys. I was panicking for a second. That would have taken me like 10 minutes of just tiptoeing. But the drawbridge is down. Uh oh, Mag Cargo stands in our way. And I know I passed up a lot of friends we could have got. We could have got Ninetales back there finally. We could have got Quilava. We'll get all the friends in the long run, guys. Don't worry. And actually, just a little, a little bit of catch up. We're actually at 84 friends already. If we go to. Oh, not here. Let's go back to our friends list. You can see there's only, well, let's go down to the bottom. There's only 193 in the game, so we're getting pretty close to that halfway point with friends. So not too shabby. And I think we're more than halfway done with the game. It's just that we've been kind of skipping over a lot of the friends at this point. So once we start going back for them, we'll get them pretty gosh dang quickly. We've probably got, we, we might even beat the game this week. If not, we'll probably beat it sometime early next week. And we'll get back to Sonic Unleashed. You want to go through the gate? I have to check something first. First, clear Bastiodon's attraction in the Cavern Zone. Also, clear Rhyperior's attraction in the Lava Zone. Then you can go. Pretty sure we did that. Oh, I haven't done Bastiodon's. Crud. Okay, so we have to go back to the Cavern Zone and play Bastiodon's Attraction. So let's go back there. I'll meet you guys in the Cavern Zone and we'll do that. And I'm going to go ahead and hit this just to drop the fire, just to use as a shortcut so I don't have to go all the way back around again. All right, here's Bastiodon. We're back in the Cavern Zone. Let's give him a chat. Let's see if there's anything we have to do before he'll let us play. Hi, thanks to the Hot Spring. Uh, the attraction is busy again. The Hot Springs really pulls in the customers. I added a pearl there somewhere where I shouldn't have. Was that a confusing thing to say? Sorry, I mean we're getting many visitors. This is Bastiodon's Block Barrage. All right, let's just go ahead and give it a play here. Let's see, who would be good at this? Uh, well, it'll probably tell us. Oh, I should probably be reading this. Hold up. Breaking Bastion's, Bastiodon's blocks will help you aim for a high score. When the game starts, press 2 to shoot a ball. Break the blocks to score break... Uh, gosh, I'm so bad at reading today, it's ridiculous. Break the same block more than once, you'll receive bonus points. Press left or right on the hit... Ugh. There. I think it's like just a bounty of the ball crud thing here. So Mr. Mime, Sudabudu, and Gibbler are all going to be good at this. Uh, you know, let's go with Mr. Mime. That sounds great. I can see how he'd be good if he can make those walls to just bounce stuff back. Hopefully without terrible reading. All right, Bastiodon, go ahead and launch your balls at me, dude. Let's go. We got this, Mr. Mime. I probably should have looked at the controls. It's just left and right. Right, got it. So we hit the button to bounce the ball there. So we just have to get it past him pretty much. Oh my gosh! I didn't see where it was going to bounce off of. The wall's a little bit misleading. So it bounces off the lines, not off the physical geometry of the what looks like the walls. It's just the line of the side of the court pretty much. So we got one thing past him right there. Let's see if we can get another one. So he's moving pretty slow here. And I'm not sure if this is based on a time limit or we just go until we run out of balls. I'm guessing we'll probably just go until we run out. So I think this is one of those ones where it's probably not too hard to actually get. Oh, jeez. Too hard to actually get the highest score possible. As long as we can keep getting things past the guy. Oh, gosh. Wow, we actually got it right at the edge right there. It looked a little bit misleading, but that's going to bounce right on him. Not going to give us any points for that one. Okay. Yeah, this is a very slow, slow moving game here. Maybe once we get more than a few, it'll stop stacking up points. I have no idea. I think the bonus was like 12,000 or some crud from Mr. Mime. So I'm pretty sure that we want to get a ton of points. Looks like Doug Shreels are starting to come out. That was probably something that I could have read about the rules. Oh gosh, okay, so they bounce them back. I wasn't sure if they'd steal the ball or what they were going to do. But they're basically just an extra obstacle here. 
Uh, well, he's gonna bounce it back here. I can already tell this is going to be a mini game that is going to be very miserable to get all the bonuses for all the Pokemon with. A lot of them only take a few seconds. This one's gonna take a very long time. But I don't think there were too many Pokemon that could play it, so it probably won't be too bad. I'm thinking once we start getting some pretty high points here, the score is going to start flying in. And the trio actually kind of helped us right there. Although it just got bounced back by Bastiodon anyways. Come on, don't throw it right at the guy, Mr. Mime. Come on, don't throw it. Ah, it's that spot in the middle that's only got a two, though. But you know what, guys? This is going to be pretty boring for you guys to sit here watching me play. So I'm going to go ahead and cut ahead until we got the bonus here. Okay, we got that bonus. Good job, Mr. Mime. He is clapping like a madman right now. But the attra attraction is cleared. And we're probably just going to get some berries as usual. 150 berries for that one. So we'll come back. Once we got all the friends that can actually play this, we'll come back and get the things. I think that's kind of how I'm going to handle the 100% guys is getting all the friends first and then going back for the attractions after. That way we don't have to go back to the attractions multiple times to get the Pokemon we are missing and all that. All right, you've cleared it. Nice job. I'd expect that from you. Why? Well, you're collecting prison pieces, aren't you? How do I know about them? Ha! I have one myself. You may have it as a token of clearing Bastiodon's block barrage. Alright, so we got ourselves another prism piece. I wish we could see how many of those we actually have. Maybe I can see that if I go to my stats. So we're going to go to the Lava Zone. Blazing the Zone Keeper is collecting prism pieces too, I hear. So we'll have to go talk to Blaziken. Give him a piece of our mind here. Uh, we can save, sure. And here are the stats. You can see we actually have half of the prism pieces. We got 7 out of 14. And once again, I think we're more than halfway done with the game, even though it says we've only got that much. It's kind of because we went a really slow early on in the playthrough, so we wasted a few parts, I would say. But I think we'll probably get the rest of the prison pieces by the end of the week, and then we'll probably wrap up all the extra friends and all that kind of crud next week. But let's go ahead and go back to this place. I guess we don't hit the lever. We hit the... Uh, gosh dang it, Pikachu! I don't need that. We just have to hit the... Minecart here. Hey, Mad Cargo, so I beat that thing back there, so why don't you go ahead and let me through? So you've come this far, you must be Lightning Strike. Oh yes, oh yes, everybody's talking about you. We have a visitor who defeated both Venusaur and Empoleon. You want to go through the gate? I have to check something first. First, okay, I already did that. I already cleared both the attractions. Hooray, that's what I'd expect from Lightning Strike. So the gates are coming open here. We can go through, talk to Blaziken, probably get another prison piece. So we can officially have more than half the prison pieces. That would be great. Beyond here is Blaziken. What are you waiting for? That car goes now your friend? That was easy. Thanks, dude. Okay, let's go through. Want to go through the gate? Yes, please. Hey, Blaziken! Whoa, Charmander's over here as well. I guess they're just buddies. Welcome, Lightning Strike. What do you say? Will you join me? We can join forces and reunite the Poke Park. What? Am I hearing you right? You say I should become friends with Venusaur and Empoleon again? You're on their side? Venusaur is worrying himself silly. Empoleon is just plain stubborn. I thought you'd make a good ally. It's a shame we don't agree. What the Poke Park needs is a powerful chief. Someone like me. If you're thinking about getting in my way, battle Charmander there. Prove your power. All right, let's go, Charmander. He didn't use all his strength. Wow, he's gonna go Super Saiyan right here. His final form's coming out. He's actually got 4 HP, so this might be a formidable battle. Maybe at some point I should go and actually train my HP up. But, you know, let's just get in there. Oh gosh. Dodge the flamethrower. Dash right at him. I could probably go for some Iron Tail action as well. Just, uh, as long as we don't get hit by flamethrower. Most of these Pokemon only seem to have one attack, so as long as we can avoid that one, we'll probably be fine. Let's just dodge him. And Iron Tail! Boom! Got him! Nice job, Pikachu. Oh, I did my best, but you beat me. You were stronger than I expected, but the battle with you was so much fun. You're great, Pikachu. You're as kind as Venusaur and as strong-willed as Empoleon. But your physical strength? That is something I will test myself. Try Blaziken's Boulder Bash. Clear it, and I'll be able to trust your strength. Clear it, and I'll promise to make up with Venusaur and Empoleon. You need 20 berries? Okay. So basically we have another attraction here, we'll probably beat it, get that prison piece. Bash boulders to bits as they fly towards you, the more you hit, the higher you'll score. Uh, hold the Wii Remote vertically, when the game begins, boulders will start to fly towards you. Bash boulders by swinging the Wii, Wii Remote, the better you swing, oh, better time is more points, okay. You won't be able to move for a while if a boulder hits, shake the Wii Remote to recover as you quickly can. Uh, okay, so getting stuff in a row is good. Do we have any of these Pokemon as friends? Um, I think Scizor or Scissor is probably the best, but let's go with Marowak here. I think Marowak would be pretty fun, and I just happen to really like Marowak a lot. So let's go ahead and hold my Wii vertically, and see what we can do. 18,000 is going to be the bonus for this one. Just got to time things properly. And... 
Got it! This kind of reminds me of that game from Pokemon Stadium where you have to harden uh, as much uh, Metapod and Kakuna. Okay, getting pretty good timing here. Oh gosh, we're gonna start coming quicker here. I think this is gonna be a pretty quick and easy one though. Especially if we get those combos going. Yeah! Yeah! Keep them coming! I can handle all these balls. Not the best timing. I think you get 300 for good timing and 100 for bad timing. But we're still getting the combo regardless. And we've got the bonus already! Time is up! So that's actually a pretty fun one. That'll be pretty easy to get all the Pokemon complete with because it's just based on the timer, so it's going to go by pretty quick. All right. Give me those berries. 150 of them. Hooray! We did it! Good job, Pikachu! Even Charmander's happy for some reason. I have no idea why, but he is. And Blaziken is standing there, arms crossed as usual. How could this be? You've cleared Blaziken's Boulder Bash. I have... Why is he referring to his Boulder Bash like in the third person like that? But he does have to acknowledge our power, and for that we get ourselves a Prism Piece. Hooray! Thanks, dude. Now you have eight Prism Pieces. The Sky Prism is said to be the source of the Sky Pavilion's power. Some say that it keeps peace and balance in the Poke Park. I was going to use its power to save the Poke Park from harm, but I'll entrust the Poke Park to you. We shall reunite the Poke Park. Alright, so they're all going to work together. We just have to re recover these six remaining Poke Pieces, or Prism Pieces. Uh, did Blaziken entrust the Poke Park to you? That's cool. Yep. I'm pretty sure you just heard that. We're standing right next to each other. So he's going to go back to the meeting place, and we'll meet him there. Would you like to save your record? Sure. All right, guys, so with that, we're done with the lava zone where we also finished the cavern zone, so I'm guessing we just have to go back to the meeting place to continue the story. Wow, that's looking like a pretty good treehouse right there. Good job, Chikorita. So I guess for some reason, as we progress the story, that also continues. Finally, all four of us are back together again. The game's all here. Yes, Pikachu told me that I'd see you all at the meeting place. I'm building a treehouse so I can be friends with everyone. I'm fixing the balloon. In fact, I'll inflate it now. So we got the balloon here. Maybe that can take us to some kind of sky zone to get a bunch of bird Pokemon. We've got quite a few bird Pokemon as our friends, so if any flying attractions come along, we'll be good to go. I'll probably just use Tropius, of course. Oh, never mind. Good job, Piplup. Piplup is always very useful, guys. I knew something was wrong. There's a hole in it. Hmm, I need something to seal the hole. The Poke Park is such a huge place, I'm sure we'll find it. Just a little more. Let's keep it up. Hey, Chanot. Hey there. Sorry to inter interrupt, but I have a message from Mew. The message is that Mew wants you to collect prison pieces. Then you must bring them to the Sky Pavilion. Did you get that? Mew says that he's counting on you. Really? You saw Mew? Mew said that. The Pikachu's dream wasn't just a dream. I wonder where the Sky Pavilion is. Well, I don't know. I always thought the Sky Pavilion was just a legend. The Sky Pavilion? Why not ask Miss Maggie is in the Haunted Zone? Oh, the Sky Pavilion is said to be a legend. Maybe Miss Magius would know something about it. She reads many books and knows so much. She's in the Haunted Zone if you want to go there. Duskull is the gatekeeper if you want to enter. Talk to him. Okay, well, I guess that is going to be the objective. So Duskull's right over there. I just want to take a peek. I think that the only place we have left is Duskull's place and then this place over here. So we're getting there, guys. We just got a couple zones left then probably the Sky Pavilion at the end. But for this one, I think we're going to call things a day. We'll come back next time, go to the Haunted Zone, and I guess continue the story. I'll see you guys then. Take care.